to you from the UNESCO headquarters here in Paris, attending the Africa Fashion Reception show that's been hosted by UNESCO and other partners, and is hosting African designers, young African designers, especially women, and also young men all over Africa. We have designers from Liberia, Ghana, Un Uganda, you name it. Today we have with us our own designer, Madam Kema Re from Liberia. Kema was exceptionally, exceptionally outstanding today at the fashion show that we've just talked about. And so we have here with us, Madam Kema Re. May I say a shout out to her? Good evening, Madam Re. How are you? I'm fine. I'm really happy to be here today and uh, be able to showcase Liberia and all our fashions for the world to see. Madam Re, looking at what we saw today and the collaboration with all the African designers that you experienced today on the platform of UNESCO, tell me what brought about the inspiration with the two design outfit that you um, modeled out today? Yeah, I showcased two collections, Marquina the Bride's collection and also uh, TK Designs, the Pride of Liberia collection. This was a brand new collection that was shown for the first time here in Paris. It was made with uh, Liberian tie and dye fabrics that were uh, dyed with natural dyed in Liberia. I had the matching accessories, you know, the purses and the uh, necklaces all came together to make an outstanding collection. It's really for the collection is more like spring summer. It's you know it was a combination of cocktail dresses, uh, something you can wear to go out for a movie or go out for dinner. You can even wear to work. I had something for everybody, 
and you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Um, and then I also showcased my Queen of the Brides collection, and uh, that was my, every gown in that collection was named after a queen from different countries around the world. So I had Queen Nefertiti from Egypt, Queen Sheba from Ethiopia, Queen Nzinga from uh, Angola, we had the West African queens. I mean, this was a showpiece. And I want the world to know that, you know, Liberians and Africans, we have talent. And some of those dresses were hand beaded in, in Africa, in Liberia. And, and we had um, the embroidery was done in Liberia and also in Ghana. So the idea there was that, you know, if you are getting married, you can feel like a queen on your special day, reincarnation of our Asian historical queens. So, you know, it's a combination of two collections. I wanted the world to see that we have a ready to wear uh, beautiful uh, African fabrics, but you can also have bridal and formal wear as well. I can agree with what you've just explained to us and to tell you the truth, each time you exhibited your wear on the catwalk tonight, I saw that the crowd went wild and I, I myself went shouting, Liberia, go Madame Kemare. Tell me something, I noticed that after the show, everyone kept coming at you and putting to you requests and what have you. May you tell us some of the requests that people made tonight to you and what were some of the expressions that people made to you? Um, I mean, it was really an honor. You know, I'm a very humble person, uh, so sometimes I'm even surprised by the uh, expressions and the warm reception that I received. Uh, some ladies wanted me to make their wedding dresses. They liked the inspiration because the mix of African with European designs. Uh, I had some uh, other designers, other people that were in the crowd that just came to me and said, wow, beautiful. Uh, original designs, things that they felt were very unique. Uh, so I'm, and I'm very humble. I'm going back to the drawing board again to come up with something new. I always want to do something different, something new. But this was really a chance to show the world that, you know, what we have to offer. And Liberia has a lot of talent. And I, um, my platform is really to project the country, our fashion, our culture and to boost the tourism sector to let people know Liberia is open for business. I represent Liberia's National Tailors, Textiles, and Ally Garments Union. And this is a union of designers, tailors, seamstresses, textile workers in Liberia. And so this is a mission that I have, a platform that I have, that people should please support Liberian fashion and Liberian culture because we have a lot of talent. We are very creative people and very hardworking, and this is what I wanted the world to see. There was also a collaboration that I had with some of the, uh, the, the union members to bring their, the, our products to life on the world stage. Thank you, ma'am. Knowing that you've come for this program today in Paris, is this your first time in Paris? I've been in Paris before, like 10 years ago, but this is my first fashion show here in Paris. So it was really special to me. Um, it meant a lot to me because this is where fashion began. Those of us who have studied fashion, I mean, everybody wants to do a show here in, in Paris. So for me, it was a dream come true. Uh, after so many years of designing, I've, I've made it to the, the fashion, to Paris. And it's a beautiful city and the people here are very welcoming. I love the, the Liberian Embassy has been very supportive, very receptive, and I want to thank you all for everything you have done to support me. Thank you, Madam Kemare. There you have it, Madam Kemare, renowned Liberian designer, TK Designs. Why don't you um, check her out on her website? May you tell us your website address so that others can be able to find you? tkdesigns.com. You can also find me at queenofthebrides.com or you can call me and or find me on Facebook, TK Designs. Um, you can Google me. I'm, I'm everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Madam Ray is indeed a designer to know and a designer to work with. Ladies out there, there you have a Madam Kema Ray. Thank you. One more time. Just go. Design, you get me victory. You give me my money, yeah. You give me my money, yeah. I'm gonna marry my baby, yeah.